The Lenovo Y530 Legion is still a great gaming laptop in late 2019 and while it does still have a last generation graphics card in the form of a 1050, 1050 Ti or 1060 it can still hold its own with the majority of new release games. Where it does fall down though is with its RAM and its hard disk specification. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can upgrade the storage and the RAM in the Lenovo Y530. Okay, so to upgrade this laptop, you're gonna need a few things. You're first of all gonna need your upgrade kit. So I've picked a 16 gigabyte uh, memory kit from Crucial and the Samsung 970 Evo Plus SSD. Now, both of these are available on Amazon and I'll put links in the video description below so you can have a look. I'll also put a couple of other links in if you want more RAM or a different brand of SSD. We're also gonna need a small Phillips screwdriver to undo the back, and then we're gonna need some sort of tool for prying off the back casing, and I'm gonna use this guitar pick tool. So the first thing we need to do, guys, is turn the laptop over and turn it round so that the rear input-output is facing away from you. Uh, now, with most Lenovo laptops, we have a series of 11 screws, 10 around the outside and one in the middle, so I'm just gonna go ahead and release those. And it's worth noting, guys, that these four across the back and the one in the middle here are a longer screw, so make sure to keep those separate so as not to mix them up when you're putting the laptop back together. Now, with all the screws out, what we're gonna do is use our little prying tool to prise the base portion off of the rest of the chassis. And the best way to do that is to go in at a corner and just find a gap where your pry tool will fit and then slowly move around, turning it slightly to release the plastic catches as you go around. Now it does come away fairly easy. One thing you've got to be careful of is when you get to the thicker section at the back here, you've got your input out on the back here and we want to tip the lid this way uh, away from the machine so that we don't cause damage to any of the connectors there. So once you've got a few pits going, you can then start to apply a little bit of even pressure just to start to remove the back section which is a little bit trickier there we go you can feel the latch is going until it all comes away and as you're doing this guys be careful not to apply too much pressure because you can of course break off these plastic lugs around the top of the lid so with the case off, let's go quickly over the layout of this machine. Uh, this large black section here is the battery. We've got cooling fans here and here, and uh, heat sinks that sit on top of the CPU and the graphics chipset. Now down here, we've got our traditional uh, hard disk, which is a one terabyte model in this one. And then we have our SSD next to it, which we're gonna upgrade in a moment. And under this gray shim in the middle here, we have our memory, which we will get to in a second. So let's start with the storage. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the existing storage module using a single screw towards the front of the machine. And you see, as you remove that screw, this will pop up. And once it's popped up, you can just pull it straight backwards and it will pop out. Now, this is actually a slightly shorter version of an SSD compared to what you can buy commercially. What we're gonna do is use a standard 80 millimeter long module, like the one in the video description and it is literally just a straight swap out. You just push that in at a slight angle until it clicks in and then push it down and secure it with the screw. Now it's worth pointing out guys that if you do replace this SSD, this contains the operating system. So you will need to uh, replace that via the instructions given on Microsoft's website. Just Google Windows 10 reinstallation and you should be able to find the details there. So with this metal shim that houses the memory, we're just gonna use our little plastic tool just to remove it. It's not secured in with screws, it's just held in with friction of some retaining clips dotted around the outer edge. But once you get it to give, it should come away quite easily. And then we'll just put that to one side. Now you can see inside we have two memory slots here. One is occupied and one is empty. 
Now, if you were very, very careful about ensuring you bought the same memory chip as this one, this is an eight gig chip. And if you just wanted to upgrade to 16, you could just buy the exact same chip and put it in the vacant slot and it would work perfectly well. I'd advise against buying a memory of a different manufacturer, even if it suits the specification of this laptop. And I'll put details of what those specifications are in the video description, because you can sometimes get mismatch and it can cause issues with the machine. So what we're gonna do is remove this chip and replace not only this one, but pop one in this slot as well with a matched pair that I've bought on Amazon. So to do that, you just pull on the two metal latches on either side, just push them outways, and you'll find that the chip pops up. And then you just hold it on both sides and it should come away very freely. And then to install our new chips is the exact same in reverse. We just open up the packaging, pop both the chips out. Now these will only go in one way. And if you look at the alignment of the grooves on here, you'll find this side is slightly longer, then you have a groove and then a slightly shorter section. So you just position it so that it will go in, pop it into the slot and then push down from the corners and you'll see that those retention clips lock in place. And it's the exact same process for the other chip. Push it down the corners and it locks in place. Then it's just a case of replacing the metal shim being careful to push it into these retention clips that are dotted around the outside because it isn't secured with screws. It is literally just those clips that hold it in place. So there's two on the back, one on this corner, one here, one here, and two down here. Now with those in place, all that remains is to put the case back on. And the best way to do this is just to angle it so that the IO shield connectors line up with the IO on the back and allow it to drop into place. And then just apply some gentle pressure around until you can feel the plastic clips locating. gentle pressure all the way around until you're satisfied that all those clips are back in place. And once they are, just replace the screws. So the four long screws go along the back here and in the center, and the shallower screws go along the sides and on the front. And there you have it guys, that is the, the Lenovo Y530 Legion upgraded with a greater size SSD and more RAM. Uh, if you have any questions about how to upgrade this, upgrade this laptop, please drop them into the video description, into the comments field below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, please give it a thumbs down and let me know why in the comments. Thanks for watching guys.